Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So we also get our optional bug fix update rolling out for Windows 11. And that will be both versions, version 22H2 and version 23H2. And the first optional bug fix C release update for Windows 11 for 2024 is KB5034204. Now, this is an optional update, but if you have the toggle, get the latest updates as soon as they're available turned on, this update will be downloaded and installed automatically. And when the update has been installed, version 23H2, the OS build has been bumped up to 22631.3085. And if you are still running 22H2, that will be build 22621.3085. Now, when this update was still in the release preview channel, which I posted on a week or two ago, there were two new features, but Microsoft hasn't decided to push those out to the stable channel. So at its heart and core, this is really an important bug fix update that brings quality improvements and numerous fixes to both versions of Windows 11. Now, first of all, um, the update addresses an issue that stops search from working on the start menu for some users. Apparently, the issue occurred because of a deadlock. So that's been fixed. And the update addresses an issue to make video calls more reliable. And it also addresses an issue that causes your device to stop responding. Apparently, there was an intermittent issue occurring after you install a print support app. And then um, the update also addresses an issue that makes the troubleshooting process fail. And this is all because of the Get Help app and occurred when you use the Get Help app. Now, as many of you may know, Microsoft is working on bringing a lot of the troubleshooters into the Get Help app. So obviously, um, that is a bug now that's been ironed out. And if we just head to our File Explorer and the Gallery, the update addresses an issue that affects the File Explorer Gallery. Apparently, it stopped you from closing a tooltip. So that's and also an important fix that's rolled out. And it also addresses an issue that affects Bluetooth, low energy LE audio earbuds. Apparently they lost sound when you were streaming music and the update addresses an issue that affects a Bluetooth phone call. So two Bluetooth fixes rolling out. Apparently it stopped the audio from routing through the PC when you answer the call on your PC. So those are the key highlights. Now, because this is a non-security update, um, if you'd like to stick around for some other quality improvements and just before we have a look at those Microsoft they also say they've been working to ensure compliance with the DMA in the EEA the European Economic Area and these changes will gradually roll out to Windows 11 version 23 H2 PCs in the EEA to be compliant by March the 6th 2024 and that also is a change that's coming to Windows 10 as I mentioned in the previous video. So some of the bug fixes are that the update just addresses an issue that affects certain types of 7-zip files. Apparently they appeared as empty in the File Explorer. So a couple of File Explorer fixes rolling out with this update. It also makes Windows more reliable during power transitions. This reduces the risk of a stop error and a stop error is a blue screen of death. So I always say if any blue screen of death gets fixed, that's an important um, improvement. And it also addresses a known issue that affects the color font format. Apparently, it now renders properly, and Windows uses this format to display emoji with a 3D-like appearance. And then just uh, three more to go. Um, the update addresses an issue that affects the trusted platform modules on certain devices they did not initialize correctly. Because of this, TPM-based scenarios stopped working, and that's obviously a requirement to be able to run Windows 11. And we've got two remote desktop, remote app issues that have been addressed. And the last one, the update addresses an issue that occurs when you change the keyboard language. And there are a couple of others, but I've just pulled those out of the release notes and that I thought you may be interested in. So that's the update KB5034204, which is now rolling out as the first optional bug fix release update for Windows 11. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.